When I look at Hamada Shoji and the Kawaii Kanjuro's wholesome pots, I'm often reminded American-style furnitures. The shake furniture, mission-style furniture, as they are made thoughtfully, with function in mind. Indeed, Japanese minge movement, led by Yanagi Soizu, Hamada Shoji, and Kawaii Kanjiro, they were looking into everyday objects, as well as a Korean object, for their inspiration. This large jar, made of mashiko clay, heavily glazed with khaki yu persimmon glaze, and a brush stroke. There are pounding marks on its up shoulder. This tall cylindrical vase is coated with white ash glaze on the upper part. The majority lower part is coated by black iron glaze. The potter has run his finger over the body that's left only decoration on this piece. Hamara is also known to decorate his pots by brush and ladles full of glazes. Look at this plate. Does that feel like an action painting? Not only Hamara was a great teacher to many young people coming from all over Japan to study with him, he also provided lots of jobs for his local villages. It is not surprised you will see many Hamada's work in today's market, from cups and saucers to plates to jars and large pl platters. As Hamada is well received and loved by Japanese and by people all over the world, collectors will encounter two types of boxes for Hamada's work. One is signed by Hamada Shoji. The other is authenticated by his son Shinsaku. Are there any difference? Mm, yes, I was told by Japanese dealers there are 30 to 40 percent of price difference. But in my humble opinion, if you love the piece, if the price is manageable, why should you just care about the difference of a signature? Live a little. Just bring one good piece home. This is Beatrice Chan from Daiichi Arts, New York City. Ideas and comments, we would love to hear from you. Email us, call us, or visit us at 18 East 64th. Till next time, stay tuned.